trapeze yourself. Nothing beats a circus. And nothing beats the G the what? The <laughs> weekend update. That one. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Wookie and I'm here to play my gotchas and have a chill, relaxing time. Today's first gotcha is of course Gale I lost. That is enjoying its current second year anniversary, as you can see from this uh, special anniversary strut featuring not not in her special dress. It's very cute. It's very cute. Um I think some fiend hunting is in order. So what am I doing here? Well, just gonna play some. I'm gonna do the clash here, because that's what that's all I really need to do for um, this event at this point. Just, I mean, I still need to unlock stuff, but it's not that hard. Oops. Yeah, choose team. Quick play. There we go. Man, uh, it's been a crazy weekend, especially with all of my Dragalia playing, and then also combined with the fact that I'm also. Still grinding on Fate Grand Order to a crazy amount because both require so much of my attention that it's kind of unfair. Um, I guess unfair to other the gotchas. There go that kooky kooky HDMI cable acting up. I really need to just buy a new HDMI cable at this point based on how many times that this just happens to me now. One moment. You're missing the cool walk. Someone actually did the animation. That's a shame. What is going on? Why is nothing working right now? Please work. There we go. Jesus, man. All right, let's get to it. Let's go beat up Dragon Frieza. Dragon Space Frieza. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of just playing. Doing a lot, just doing nothing as well. It's been kind of crazy, actually. Uh, but yeah, it's hard to just kind of relax and chill with your gotchas when you've been crazy farming all your gotchas. Seems kind of counterinductive, if I'm being 100% honest with you. But, you know, things have never had You know, things don't always need to make sense. How are you still alive, Nyx? We should have been killing you ages ago. This is the slowest I've ever killed Nyx in this specific uh, era currently. Alright. Leave my sight. Drogonaut! This is what the White Sparrow Corps can do. Yeah. For some reason I was expecting your Japanese voice, but that's only because of some silly thing that happened uh, with the summer version. Yay, another sunlight ore! Bitchin'. All right, let's move on to the next gotcha, shall we? All right, and we're back with some fake grand orders. You can see there's only two days left in this event, so I need to get hurry up and get grinding because there's a lot of grinding to do left for me at least. Um, so yeah, this is this is how you can tell I'm in main grind mode. Up until this point, I've been using a variety of different teams. This is my I'm done playing for fun. I'm now here to run a train on everyone. That's what this team is, because my Lancelot is in fact MP4. Um, the only skill that matters of his is level 10, is his level 3. So I automatically have that up, no issue. Um, and I've been grinding. I'm going to be grinding for the next couple days here, non-stop, man. It's... Oh my god, it's so much. <laughs> it's, it's honestly maybe too much. But, you know, I, I put TV shows in the background. Um, I'm actually currently planning to watch uh, Star Wars The Animated Series, the 3D one, because I've never actually seen... I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've never actually seen the whole thing. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the, the 3D shows for me, at least shows for me back then, I don't know how you were back in the day, but back in my room, the only real channel I ever had on was a switch between Comedy Central and um, Cartoon Network. So I've seen a lot of Cartoon Network shows from a specific period, like honestly from a much larger period than a lot of people um, will say. I really do like just watching cartoons, so it really doesn't matter. I'm not one of those people who are like, Ugh, this isn't from my era. How can I... How can it possibly be better than the cartoons I grew up with? I'm not one of those dudes. I enjoy animation in all forms it comes in. Um, so I watch them and I judge them silently. 
silently watching, silently judging, but no. Uh, but Star Wars was one where I would watch bits and pieces of episodes, and I always remember thinking, like, the problem is, is that it was set... <sighs> okay, so the movie of the Clone Wars was bad. Very bad. So that made me think that the movie was bad. Uh, that the show was bad, because it was based off a bad movie, and it's also based off of the worst, uh, the worst set of... Um, Star Wars related material ever, which is the prequels, which, as much as I kind of am okay with the new stuff, do not let people trick you into thinking that those old prequel movies are good, because they're not good. They're just very bad. Very, very bad. Unbelievably bad. Just horrible, boring shit to watch. Um, and somehow that show... Uh, every time I watched it, I was super intrigued. I was like, this is actually kind of awesome. But unfortunately, by the time um, the new show Star Wars Rebels started getting up, um, where I was like, maybe I will watch this one all, because at that point, Star Wars The Clone Wars had been cancelled. That was when Disney bought Star Wars, so it was like on Disney XD, so I didn't have access to it anymore. So, shit. That sucks. That really sucks. Um, yeah, so... And I also like that, uh, to be fair, I guess to me, I also do like the one that was made by the Samurai Jack creator, Targanovsky. The guy who also did um, Hotel, Transylvania, Hotel Transylvania, all three of them. Um, same guy. The same guy who did uh, Samurai Jack is also the same man who um, was the director behind Hotel Transylvania. So if you ever watch those movies and go, wow, this is actually crazy fun animated, it's because he helped animate it. Um, even though I feel like Adam Sandler gets a real bad rap, for good reason, because he is Adam Sandler, um, and Adam Sandler is a fantastic actor who sometimes does not actually want to act, so it can be very frustrating to be a fan of his sometimes, um, which I am actually a fan of um, Adam Sandler. I have a lot of, and I, I, I trust me, tell me right, like, how big of a fan am I? I watch that. Um, Ridiculous 7 Netflix movie the second it became available. I have not seen Grown Ups. have seen Ridiculous 7. Anyway, Chernofsky also made a Star Wars animated, um, Star Wars animated, uh, series. Um, which is the 2D one. Which was really good and it has, like, a PC... It had, I think, a PC game back when Cartoon Network had PC, uh, web-based video games on their website, from what I can remember anyway. It's been so long since I've thought about childhood stuff. Man. Man, I'll finish. I think I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna call it just because I haven't really actually been... It's actually really funny for me to be go like, oh yeah, I'm gonna relax with my gotchas. Having just now realized when I went to record this video, I have actually not been relaxing with my gotchas at all for the past <laughs> entire week. Ah, but I'm having fun talking to you guys here. So, um... Another animated show that I wish I had seen more of, just because, um, uh, every time I watched it, it was really good, but for some reason, it because it, the brand had gotten diluted at that point, I wasn't super into it. Uh, the Green Lantern 3D animated show is maybe one of the best 3D animated shows ever created. I have a friend who super, one, loved that show, knows the creators as well, he ended up getting buddy-buddy with them, and... Yeah, it was one of those shows where I was like, this is insanely good, but also it's based off of Green Lantern. So I don't know if I'm feeling it after that uh, Ryan Reynolds movie, which was really bad. Um, I don't know, I remember liking it. Not liking it, but I remember having a pretty okay time with it. Here's the secret thing, is that all, all superhero movies to me are basically the same in which that they don't really need to be thought about when watching. Um, so the actual, like, for example, MCU movies, they may as well be the same to me as Green Lantern, because I watch them and go, that was entertaining. But then after the movie, I go, man, there was a lot of stupid shit in, um, this movie, and I don't do that for the MCU movies. But when I'm watching them, specifically, I get the same feeling. I just kind of watch and go, huh, cool. Um, and it's not till later when the movie's actually done where I go, oh, there's a lot of bad stuff in that movie. Um... Also, this is the end of today's video. <laughs> Alright, I'm here at the end. Take us out, Lancelot. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next Gotcha Weekend update. Happy grinding out there.